Hey, what's up guys? It's Brain TCT and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about what is the best purchase to buy from the store. So for pay for free to plays, um, you guys don't really spend that much. This video isn't more for isn't really for you, but more for the people that are more moderate spenders or pay to wins because these are like the best um, rewards that you can get but you pay to wins can also stick around because in case you guys ever do get some sort of money then you guys can um, use these tips to make sure to uh, well, like I, I don't mean some sort of money um, I mean like if you had like a iTunes gift card or play Google Play gift card whatever but um, if you guys ever got that stuff then you guys could use it on this game and you guys can see what are the best so I'm not gonna talk about which are the bu best bundles because um, if you watch Chiskel, then you'd know that he does a pretty well job of discussing which ones are these. But the best ones in the game are either the Girlfriend by Definitely. Get this one for sure because let's say you are a City Hall 25 and you haven't gotten this. It's 40,000 to 57,000. Uh, uh, over 50,000 gems just by paying $10. So this is probably the best deal you can get in the game. And of course I've already gotten this. But um, other than this, you pretty much the best one would be the 30 day gem supply. Now this is, um, you get this by logging in every single day and you get um, 650 gems. Now it um, at the end of 30 days you get about 20,000 gems and, um, and also 22,000, uh, I mean uh, 2,200 uh, gems just by purchasing this pack. This pack costs $10 by the way. Um, I'm going to need to renew it soon. I'm going to say wait until there's a recharge awards and then I'm going to renew this because I want to get some extra gold sculptures by um, buying a purchase because I don't want to do it quite yet. And I'm running short. I remember at one point I was at 100 days for the next, I was at the next two, 100 days for this. Um, and uh, pretty much these things are pretty good, but I wouldn't, like unless you have your uh, pay to win and you have lots of money to spend on this game then these things can be pretty good because you get the um uh, warlord's ambition which out of each one of these which is uh, a uh, excuse me uh uh but you get a uh um a pretty much a either a silver key or a chance to get uh like one to ten amount of south south sculptures which is pretty awesome but i seem to always get silver keys from these but it's pretty sad but if you, these are actually pretty good. I, I get them occasionally, depending on whenever I feel like it. I probably shouldn't. I should probably wait until there's an event to spend on this. And uh, pretty much the Fountain of Wisdom is probably the other best. Uh, pretty much just ignore the percentage of how much it's worth, because um, even for the Living Legend, uh, it says that it is 789% better deal, but they're pretty much going off of a gold key that costs 1,500 gems. That's a little bit insane, so I wouldn't suggest going after the percentages. And a Fountain of Wisdom can be pretty helpful for speeding up your research and also overall just um, getting your research done, which is very helpful. Um, so this is a really good bundle, and um, and there's you can also watch some other videos of other content creators. Uh, making videos on buying out the bundle and you guys can see what's all in them because I've never bought them out before. I don't have as much money because I'm I'm not an adult like all of them so I don't get as much regular money as them. Um, so I don't have enough to be able to buy them out. But uh, if you guys did enjoy this video about me talking about which are the best deals to buy for the game then make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new here because I make daily Rise of Kingdoms videos. And thank you so much for everyone that's taking time to watch this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.